A zygote takes about 9 months to develop from a single cell into a fully formed human being. The rate of growth in the first few weeks is amazing. If you grew at the same rate after birth, you would be 4 meters, 13 feet, tall at 1 month of age. Implantation in the uterus. The zygote continues to divide until it has become a ball of cells called a blastocyst. The blastocyst attaches or implants itself into the uterine lining. Then it continues to grow. It develops three layers, the ectoderm, the mesoderm, and the endoderm. The ectoderm develops into the skin and nervous system. The mesoderm forms many of the internal tissues and organs. The endoderm develops into several digestive organs and their lining. Once these layers appear, the ball of cells is called an embryo. Stages of Cell Division For the first 12 hours after conception, the fertilized egg cell remains a single cell. After 30 hours or so, it divides from one cell into two. Some 15 hours later, the two cells divide to become four. And at the end of three days, the fertilized egg cell has become a berry-like structure made up of 16 cells. This structure is called a morula, which is Latin for mulberry. During the first eight or nine days after conception, the cells that will eventually form the embryo continue to divide. At the same time, the hollow structure in which they have arranged themselves, called a blastocyst, is slowly carried toward the uterus by tiny hair-like projections in the fallopian tube called cilia. The blastocyst, though only the size of a pinhead, is actually composed of hundreds of cells. During the critically important process of implantation, this structure must attach itself to the uterine lining or the pregnancy will fail to survive. If we take a closer look at the uterus, you can see that the blastocyst actually buries itself in the uterine lining, where it will be able to get nourishment from the mother's blood supply. Embryonic Membranes As the embryo develops, membranes form to nourish it and keep it safe. One membrane, the amnion, fills with fluid and is called the amniotic sac. This sac cushions the embryo and protects it from sudden changes in temperature. Another membrane, the chorion, also forms to nourish the embryo as it develops. Together, the chorion and the lining of the uterus form an important organ called the placenta. The placenta allows mother and embryo to exchange oxygen, nutrients, and wastes. The placenta is connected to the embryo through the umbilical cord. The umbilical cord carries nutrients and oxygen from the mother's blood to the embryo. It also carries the embryo's waste back to the mother who can then excrete them into her urine. The placenta ensures that the blood of the mother and her baby flow past each other but do not mix. If proteins from the embryo enter the mother's circulatory system, her immune system might attack them as foreign invaders. This could end the pregnancy. A zygote develops into a fully formed fetus in about 38 weeks. Human pregnancies can be divided into trimesters or three periods that are each three months long. During those months, hormones help to keep the pregnancy going and stimulate the embryo to develop. Trimesters A zygote develops into a fully formed fetus in about 38 weeks. Human pregnancies can be divided into trimesters or three periods that are each three months long. During those months, hormones help to keep the pregnancy going and stimulate the embryo to develop. In the first trimester, cells are rapidly dividing and forming the specialized tissues and organs that make up the body.
Even this early in pregnancy, the embryo begins to look like a small human being. At five week it, weeks, its heart begins to beat. At nine weeks, the embryo has developed enough to be called a fetus. The embryo can easily damage by generating mutations and by the mother's poor nutrition. It can also be damaged by any toxic chemicals such as drugs and alcohol that the mother may consume. By week 14, your baby is the size of a nectarine. All of his internal organs form during the first trimester and they will continue to mature during the second and third trimesters to get him ready for life outside of your womb. Although his eyelids are closed, he is aware of the bright light outside of your belly. The tiny bones inside his ears are now working and he can begin to hear some sounds. Talk to him and read to him so that he can get to know the sound of your voice. Because your baby's brain now controls all the muscles in his body, he is able to move. Yes, he can even do somersaults. From as early as the beginning of the second trimester, he can make faces that you'll get to see soon. His arms are now long enough for his hands to touch in front of his stomach. He can also reach his head, which he might be scratching with tiny fingernails. By week 16, your baby is 5 inches long and weighs 3 ounces. Until now, she didn't have much control over her movements, but now she can make a fist and suck her thumb. You probably can't feel any of the movement yet, but just wait, in a few weeks it'll all be different. A white, creamy substance called Vernix is covering her skin and protecting her while she sits in amniotic fluid for 9 months. Imagine how wrinkly and irritated your skin would be if you sat in a warm bath all day. Your baby has reached the size of a beanie baby this week. Until this point, he's been all skin, bones, and hair. As fat starts to accumulate on his body, the fine hair will disappear and his skin won't look so translucent. He has hiccuped before, but this is the first time you might feel it. The protective waxy coating that's covering your baby's body, the vernix, now gets thicker, although much of the fine covering of hair on their body is now disappearing. Instead, the hair on your baby's head is now getting thicker and their nails grow stronger and longer. Some babies are actually born with long nails and need an immediate trim because they're rather sharp. Your baby continues to lay down fat over their whole body and this is to help them stay warm once they're born. This fat plumps up their skin and removes the skin wrinkles they've had up to this point. Not only can they open and close their eyes, but they can now sense light changes through the wall of your abdomen. They react to the changing light by moving around and changing position. Your baby's bones are now fully developed, but they remain soft. The bones in their head are not completely joined, and this allows them to cross over each other during birth making the process easier and safer. As well as sucking their thumb, your baby can also make a variety of reflex movements. They can startle, grasp and even make swimming movements. Rapid brain development is occurring and billions of neurons are being developed, ready for life on the outside. At the beginning of the third trimester, your baby will be very active and don't you know it. Some of those kicks can hurt. However, you'll be aware that they're alternating between periods of activity and periods of stillness and rest. By the beginning of the ninth month, your baby will most likely settle into the head down position for birth, although they're still capable of changing positions. However, as they reach their full size in the last month, there is little room to roll around. Now your baby's lungs are developing in preparation for breathing, and even if they're not yet fully mature, rhythmic breathing movements do occur. Your baby is also now acquiring antibodies from you, 
which will provide them with temporary immunity against some diseases while their own immune system is developing. During the third trimester, your baby will grow from 33 centimeters to about 50 and their weight increases to round about seven pounds.